Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'll show you how to use Science Direct for Public Health. First, I'm going to go to libraries.mercer.edu, our home page. I'm going to scroll down until I see Research Guides and Tutorials. And keep scrolling down until I see Health Profession. There's public health. And here is Science Direct. I'm going to log in. I am at Science Direct. Got a lot of good stuff in here. There we go. Put my search terms in here. Click on search. This will have books in here too, peer reviewed journals, articles. It's a really good database. Okay. It's a research article and it's open access. So, research article is going to be like the primary source. Open access means it's available right away. And you see research article full text, something that comes with the database. Okay. Let's look at some of these. Bring your attention over here to the left. You could limit by year. See how this one's 2021? It's going to come out. And there are four in there. Here's your review articles. If you need secondary research articles, primary. You'll have your encyclopedia and book chapters. A little bit more. Here's your publication titles. Just so you want to see what type of journal. A few. Journal of Fluorine Chemistry. Um, an access type. So open access is it's immediately available. Open archive, that means it will be available after an embargo. And what that means is sometimes they won't make it available until after a three month embargo or six month embargo. Well, let's look at one of these. This looks interesting. We're going to download this PDF. Here it is. Here's your article. These are recommended articles. So if you like this one or if this one has the information you're looking for, these are similar. Okay. At the top here, cited by, you can see what other articles cited this article. There's nine figures. Here's an outline. Just look at that. So you can click around in here to see certain aspects of the article. It's only eight pages, so it's not that long. You can go jump right to the figures. Here they are. And you can search within the article. This is how you download the PDF. Once you download it, you can save it to your computer. And this is how you use Science Direct for public health.